Hello and welcome to the video on troubleshooting either the MDS Perceptual Map Excel template or the Cluster Analysis template, whichever one you're using. Uh, please be advised that both files have a, a macro and they use Excel's built-in solver. So sometimes that causes a few issues. I'm going to cover three things. One is downloading the file from the internet. Uh, latest versions of Windows may block that for you. Adding solver, if you don't use Excel very often, you may not have that installed and we need to add it twice. And these templates have been bug tested and they're pretty good. Uh, the only issue is you start dragging data and I'll show you what not to do in that regards. So I'll now open the file. Okay, when you open it at the top, it'll say enable edit editing, which you just click. And then it'll come up with a security risk because there's a macro in it. Uh, more recent versions of Windows will block this automatically. There's a, what you can do there, but I will quickly show you. What you need to do is to go to the, uh, the download area of your file explorer. I'll just do that. As you can see, it's at the top in my downloads here. What I do is I right click. I go down to properties. And on the Generals tab, which comes up first, I just go Unblock and then OK. Then what I need to do is actually close this because it's trapped, because it thinks it's, there's something to stop, and I reopen it. It goes back into Excel for me. And I have the Enable Content again but I do not have a security risk, it's just come straight through. So as you can see, because I use have used Excel before, we have the solver uh, button already there, and well, sometimes it's found under data, so if you click on data, it's there as well. But you may need to add it, and what you need to do is go to File, down to Options, then click on Add-ins, and down here, Manage Add-ins, click Go. And you've got to make sure that Solver Add-in is ticked. And then hit OK. And it should appear for you there or under Data. If it doesn't, um, simply save your file, exit Excel, and then come back in and it'll be there. The second thing is we need to make sure we have the Developer button up the top there. And we need to add it in there as well because Solver runs off the macro in this template, so it needs to be connected twice. So if you don't have developer, you go to File, Options. You want to go this time to Customize Ribbon. And along here in the tabs, you want to make sure that we have developer ticked. I have it already. And we hit OK. It should appear at the top. If not, say Exit, Re-Enter, Excel. And we want to click on once we're there, click on Developer, come across to Visual Basic, click that. Come across to Tools when this weird menu opens up. Don't worry, it's just showing you my, my macros there. So click Tools, References, and we want to make sure, again, that Solver is ticked. And that's it. Once we've done that, we just X this. Uh, it should be showing. If not, again, save and get back into Excel. Now the third, so this is, is the macro that's set to run now. The only problem that happens if you put some data in and then for some reason you go, I want this to move down here, things fall apart. Okay, can you see that space there? And the, all the formulas at the back are expecting something to be here and something to be there. So it's actually taking it away to do the calculation. And as soon as you do that, it's breaking the formulas, even if you put it back. So if you want to change and put this down there, just retype it and it's good to go. So there are the only three issues you should have. Um, any questions, just, just email me.